Hi everyone, welcome to Linda's Thrifty Life. Boy, have I had a busy day. <clears throat> I did a bunch of crafting last night and this morning. And I've made a bunch of mini pocket letters, so I'm, I feel like I'm catching up some. I got some packages almost ready to go in the mail tomorrow. So I hope to finish those tonight. But my big news of the day is that I went to visit a, um, a senior living place uh, that's about 20 minutes away from where I live um, that had been recommended to me. I loved it. I thought it was wonderful. It's not too big. Um, Mom could get a one-bedroom um, apartment. They serve three meals a day. They clean twice a week. They do your laundry. They do um, activities. They get the trash out. It's She'd be so well taken care of. They will take her to doctor's appointments if I'm not able to. Um, just so much about it I liked. She is not going to like it because, one, it's small. And two, it costs a lot. And it does. These places cost a lot. But she can do this. And she is really at the stage where she just can't live alone. I saw all sorts of people, you know, out in the, in the lounge area talking and stuff. And so she would have other people to talk to and I just know that if she would go with the right attitude that she would really really like it. So I'm gonna wait and talk to my therapist tomorrow and I'm gonna talk to Sarah and Ashley about it a little bit um, and how to approach this with her. Um, so I know y'all have been praying for me. I know you have and I thank you so much and I feel it. And if you could just continue to, to just pray for her to have an open mind about this. This just might be our solution. And uh, if not, I really, I just don't know what the next step is. But I'm still trusting in God that he has an answer. I really liked this place. The lady that is the executive director of it met with me. We talked for two hours. She is going through a lot of what I'm going through, and she just was so understanding. And so I think she would be, you know, really a good asset for my mom there that she, you know, she kind of knows how to talk to her about some of the needs she's she has and will have. And what I like about this place is that she can age in place. Um, they can continue to ramp up her level of care as she needs it unless she gets where she needs um, nursing care all the time you know like like she's not able to get out of bed or anything um, so I really like that about it also anyway it was a relief to find this place it feels like to me it's it's it does all of the needs that she has and I have. And so I'm really, really praying that that this might be the place. So, that was a good outcome today. Um, <clears throat> I got a couple more die cuts from AliExpress. I told, you know, you, you order from all these little different stores and they just kind of trickle in, but the, the prices on them are so incredibly good. I haven't looked these up. <laughs> I'm so tired, but I did want to share with you how cute they are. I got a little bicycle with a basket on it. Isn't that cute? That's going to be really cute. I got these um, that will make little, um, you will fold them in half and they make little um, tags, not like, I don't know what you call them. <laughs> you know, you just know what they are. <laughs> and then this I'm really interested to do. This is all these little pieces and you can make bows 
paper bows. So I'm like, oh, and they could be, you know, kind of flat or dimensional. And so I'm excited to try some of those. Um, <clears throat> I have heard that there's one person that we have not heard back from. Um, Mary Jane's reviews, I think, for the um, Valentine Pocket Letters. So, um, Elsa, the bargain hunter, is your partner, and she has another partner, so she's going to continue with that. But, um, Mary Jane, if you are interested in, can, you know, doing this, please get in touch with her. So, everybody, that's kind of it for Linda today. I'm, <laughs> I'm a little tired, but I'm happy. I mean, it felt really good to have, um see this place and just see that it meets all of mom's needs she is you know i know gonna fuss at the money but you know i'd move in there they'd feed me three times a day they'd do my laundry they'd clean my place <laughs> what's not to love you know so um anyway i just found them to have excellent staff and and very compassionate um, people working there. So, fingers crossed, prayer said, let's hope that this will work out. And I will um, talk to my therapist tomorrow. So, I hope you all had a really great Monday. It rained like crazy here, but um, I didn't let it deter me. And I went to my meeting, and I'm, I'm really glad I did. So, I hope all of you are doing well. Um, Boy, January is just going to fly by. Um, Sarah and Blake will have their closing on their new house tomorrow. I'm so excited for them. They'll be moving in uh, probably by the weekend. They're going to try to move as quickly as possible. And um, I'm just so excited for them. And when the kids were here the other day, they were talking about their rooms and what they're going to get and what they're going to do. So that's softening the blow of moving from their their old house. Um, they live where there's a, a creek and Tiger has loved having the creek to play in and, and um, it's been a real good good home for them. But they will love having the space and um, and they will have a big backyard and, and um, they're going to get some, you know, fun things there. So, thank you all. And I hope you um, have a good rest of your evening. And uh, I will also go to Dollar Tree tomorrow. So I don't know if I'll find anything. You never know. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Love you all. Bye now.